for a guy that has been in coaching for less than four years, Enzo Maresca has a lot of cojones. Trust me, this guy is something else. But I'm not going to be blaming him for what is happening with Ryan Sterling. I've seen in the press recently that he has told Ryan Sterling that he's no longer needed at the club. And they have also gone as far as to give Ryan Sterling number away. It is ridiculous at this point. A lot of persons are blaming the coach. Honestly, I don't think the coach is the person who made this decision, which will look bad on him. Yes, because persons will say that he's a yes man. But you know it goes in organization. You have to listen to the bigger man up above or you go about your business unless you have leverage like persons like Pep Guardiola, Ozzy Marina, and those persons who are proven to be top, top class coaches that can walk into any job across the world. Enzo Maresca is just starting his coaching career. And if the bigger heads say that he should make a particular decision, then more likely than not, he will follow instruction that he is given from those in seniority. Raheem Sterling is a fantastic footballer, in my opinion. He's someone that has won the Premier League multiple times with Manchester City. He has scored a lot of goals. He has represented England. And despite what a lot of persons say about Raheem Sterling, in terms of sometimes it's frustrating to watch him because he tends to overdrift the football. He tends to do a lot of garbage in the final thirds at time. Ryan Sterling is very effective on a football pitch. And Ryan Sterling is a footballer who I believe can continue to play football at the highest level. You don't get to play 82 matches for England and just be a run-of-the-mill footballer. Ryan Sterling at his best was world-class. He hasn't gotten the opportunity to show his world-class ability at Chelsea because Chelsea, in my opinion, is a very dysfunctional football club. Some of the time I'm wondering if the powers that be were just annoyed at Jose Moreno and Roma Abramovich for turning Chelsea back into a big team in England and winning trophies after trophies. So they have decided that to get their revenge, especially on Roman Abramovich, to turn Chelsea into a laughing stock. Yeah, I know that's not what happened, but if you drink enough alcohol in a rum bar, I wouldn't blame you if that is how you analyze what is happening at Chelsea at this point in time. Ryan Sterling, though, for someone who have won the Premier League four times with Manchester City, for someone who has been a Champions League runner-up, won the FA Cup, won the English Football League, EFL Cup, for someone who has been fantastic at Liverpool, has shown his world-class ability, this is not how his story should be ending. Ryan Sterling is someone who, at his best, is known for his pace and dribbling skill. He can walk into almost any team in world football at this point in time. He could walk into almost any team in England at this point in time. Because in my opinion, yes, I know that Ryan Sterling could start in Arsenal team above Martinelli, right now, and looking at Doku at Manchester City, I don't rate Doku highly. I'm going to do a video on Doku soon. Ryan Sterling could also start in Manchester City, and those are arguably the two teams that he will have a harder time getting into right now. So to see Ryan Sterling being frozen out of Chelsea's team, his number being given to someone else and he being told that he is not required at the club, that is a very bitter 
pill for Ryan Sterling to swallow at this point in time, especially since he's trying to get back into England's team and trying to start playing back football at the high level that he used to play football at. Ryan Sterling last represented England, if memory serves me right, in 2022. It has been two years and he has not been at his best in those two years, but even not being at his best, Ryan Sterling is still better than the wide options that are at Chelsea. My opinion on why Ryan Sterling, who was featured in practice matches during the off season, is frozen out of Chelsea's team, I strongly believe that it is because of his age. Chelsea, new management, seems as if they are buying footballers not to win the Premier League, but footballers who are part of a long-term project that they can buy for a particular amount of money now and they can resell at a higher value later. I believe what the new owners are doing is borderline financial fair play violation, allegedly, of course, where they amass a squad of a lot of players, young players, who they can sell for a larger sum of money in the future to generate revenue and generate profit for themselves. They are not football minds. They are businessmen. They are not interested in winning the Premier League. They are more interested in making a huge profit. And you cannot blame them because they are in charge of a business and football is a business. Not all owners are going to be like Roman Abramovich that wants to win football titles. Not all owners are going to be like Man City owners who want to win championship. And according to HITC7, Manchester City's owner allegedly want to use football to whitewash their image, so to speak. Not all owners are like that. So let us see what happened with Ryan Sterling. At this rate, our Chelsea are moving very dysfunctional. My prediction that Chelsea could challenge for the title if they hit the run running seems to be very ridiculous at this point in time. At the rate of which Chelsea is going, I highly doubt that they will even make the top four. But perhaps my original prediction could turn out to be the correct prediction if they get it right in the coming week. This has been an epic football production. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Peace out for now.